Okay, so before I even talk about this episode, I'm just gonna play this clip because it really just describes the evolution of this anime and just how it continues to one-up itself scene after scene. So here, I'm gonna just play this clip and then I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> So yeah, as you can clearly see, this series has no regard for referencing other shows. Like, it will straight up reference High School DxD, as you can see on screen here, literally with the logo on her chest. And it's just, it's a very fun little nod, because obviously where they're placed, you know exactly what they're doing here. But it's just like, they reference Bennett Foddy getting over it, they reference literally school days, they reference is this a zombie, they obviously reference High School DxD, and a bunch of other visual novel references, etc. I really appreciate this show. Like, I'm just gonna say, as someone that has watched a lot of this stuff that this show has referenced, or played the games that this show has referenced... I really appreciate it, and it really does feel like a proper adaptation or a story about what VTubers and streamers would actually go through and just their experience in life when they're trying to make content. So let's get into that first. So this might be the first time you've ever heard about VTuber Legend. I did make a video on this about two or so weeks ago. I talked about the first episode and just how unhinged the main female character was because the main premise of VTuber Legend was that you have a VTuber that is this very pure looking angel, so to speak. She just seems like she could do no wrong, nothing etchy, nothing like that. And then she leaves her stream accidentally on when she turns off stream. Like, she thinks it's off, but it's actually on. And it's secretly recording her still and, you know, gaining her dialogue and all that. And she sits there and starts gooning all over other VTubers, etc. She literally says the word gooning and all this type of stuff. And so her very image, like, the mask slips off her character. And it's very fun. There's a lot of references in the first episode, but it also feels very in line with just streaming and VTuber culture. Because obviously there is a lot of content creators that are probably streaming sometimes and they forget to turn off their stream and they record their entire desktop and obviously sometimes this leads into some really bad areas, aka them getting cancelled or them getting deleted or something because maybe they'll go to, let's say, a, uh, a hentai site or something. So it is definitely a common thing that happens in streaming and VTuber culture and I think that it's a very fascinating kind of like connection with real life and having a story about that is extremely fun. And so we... Past that first episode into episode 2, episode 3, and now episode 4, the antics of the show just continues to amp up to collaborations with other VTubers and content creators, to gaming references and visual novels, to just overall outfits that clearly are references to other VTubers that are out there. I really appreciate this show, and I want to be blunt with you guys. I said this, I believe, in my first video of the show, but I want to say it again just in case this is the first time you've ever watched this series, like me talking about the series. I don't personally go out of my way to watch VTubers. Nothing against them. I just, I don't. It's like, I usually just watch, like, either very informative documentary type stuff, or I watch gaming analysis and all that type of stuff. That's just the type of content I watch, or speedrunning, etc. I understand if you don't find that interesting, completely fine, different taste and all that. But, uh, I don't normally go out of my way to watch VTuber content. If I do, it's usually through clips or out-of-context clips, either on Twitter, Reddit, or YouTube Shorts, etc. That's the only time I really ever see VTubers. YouTuber content or stuff I hear when people tell me. So, yeah, even though I obviously don't fully understand VTuber culture, like, I don't know everything about it, the, the nuance of it, I can appreciate it as a content creator and as someone that has seen some stuff from it. I cannot imagine just how emotional and how much fun this anime is for those that legitimately have watched VTubers for years now and are actually VTubers themselves or is inspiring to be a VTuber. I really like this show, and I feel like it has a nice level of, like, parody, 
but also realistic depiction of just what stuff like, you know, VTuber life would actually be. It's very fun, and I absolutely love anime like this, because obviously, you can turn off your brain and just sit down and just enjoy it, but also if you sit down and think about it, there is a lot to really analyze with the show, and I've had a lot of fun. And one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this is obviously because this DXD reference, and I, I guess I'm going to segue into that. So... This show, obviously, I know Katakawa has, like, a blanket ownership of a bunch of stuff like DXD, I'm assuming VTuber Legends, School Days, etc. You know, I know they own that, and obviously it'd be a lot easier to get licensing, and if there is a similar studio as well, it would definitely be easier to incorporate certain references from other shows. But I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe School Days is done by Studio Dean, and... Even if this isn't true, or, if it, or no, I think actually it is it a zombie. I think sh this was actually made by Studio Dean. And even if that is the case or not, I know it had to be difficult to try to incorporate these different shows, like series and webtoons, or not webtoons, webcomics, or like novels, or like, you know, manga, etc. into, you know, the show. And I really appreciate that, that level of commitment and detail, kind of showcasing just, like, the references to other properties, and how it's clear that if there was a VTuber that was doing stuff like this, they would reference, like, High School DXD, etc. So, I am proud of that. But, um... One thing I am curious about, and getting back into the topic of High School DxD, is that it's been years since we've had a follow-up and continuation of this show, and it makes me wonder if this is a subtle reference or teaser to what potentially could be announced relatively soon. Because High School DxD, from what I'm aware of, is very popular. It, it has a very big fan base, for obvious reasons. I mean, there's two big reasons on screen right now. And it's just like, um... When you think about that, I wonder if, like, some of the references that VTuber Legend is going through is referencing that there might be some form of follow-up. Uh, season 2, Season 3, etc., remake, or whatever. I would love that. And hopefully this does lead to somewhere, since obviously they really wanted to make it clear as day that they were actively wanting to reference DxD with this episode. So, yeah, it it's been a long time since we've seen new content of her, and to see her actually in a series that came out literally just two, ep like, days ago... I hope, I hope I'm not just, you know, stretching it, and I, I hope there is a possibility that, you know, we will see a new season come into existence, but yeah, overall, I wanted to bring some spotlight to VTuber Legend, it's a very good show, four episodes out, it's not perfect by any means, and I feel like if you're a VTuber fan, and someone that, you know, is a part of VTuber culture, you're definitely going to appreciate this show a lot more than the average individual, but I do think that even if you don't, there is a lot here to love, there's a lot of funniness, and she is just... I love how her character is. She is such a good character. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. May all of you have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.